I guess we have to talk about Angular again. Never thought I would say that. I made a video a long time ago about why I would never talk about Angular because honestly, it's not interesting to me. At least it wasn't. Generally, creators talk about the things that they're excited about or interested in. And I'm interested in frameworks that are trying new things and changing and innovating and pushing standards forward. And Angular hasn't been that for a very long time by choice. Angular's goal wasn't to advance web development by introducing revolutionary new patterns and features. It was to standardize web development by having a core set of things you would use again and again and never think about too much. That also means things like self-closing tags took years to ship, but it also means things are pretty stable. So that's been the Angular experience for a while. Seems like that's changing. The last few months, years of progress have been made. I feel like we went from the only Angular talk being the occasional old feature finally making it to the framework. Now we're seeing creators of all sorts talking about Angular, people from the Angular community getting way more attention, huge new features being lifted, huge contributions from the Angular space. Obviously the creator of Angular, Mishko, having a lot of success with Quick as well. It just seems like Angular's in the air again. I want to talk a bit about it specifically the signals change and why I think it's so interesting. What is this signals change that we're talking about? Because it seems like everyone's talking about signals right now. Well, signal is kind of another word for observable. The idea is you instantiate a value and wherever that value is used, it's called with a function. So when that original value changes, the place where you called it can get updated direct instead of having to traverse your DOM tree and all of the places where data could theoretically have gone. A signal will only update the places where it's called. It makes it much easier to model your data flows, especially in a framework like Angular, where those data flows have gotten chaotic to say the least. And that's kind of what's called out here. We believe adding built-in reactivity to Angular unlocks many new capabilities, including a clear and unified model for how data flows through an application. If you think data flow in Angular is clear, you're lying or you haven't used other frameworks because it's not. Data management in Angular has been chaotic for a while and actually identifying how state flows through your application, it's a mess. It's because they used a model view controller model in a system where model view and controller are all kind of the same thing and really closely related. MVC kind of made sense on servers. It makes absolutely no sense on client and React proved that with the component model. Thankfully, this seems to be addressing that. And it's nice to see the core Angular team acknowledging that their way of doing things not only is outdated, it's actually pretty bad. And the things that we're seeing from other languages enable much better patterns, even in Angular. And if you can build something like Signals that lets you skip the entire state management flow of Angular in favor of using Angular to render your application once and then everything updates itself through Signals, it basically turns Angular into Astro with like an island model with Signals. It gives Angular hope. And it means in a given Angular code base, you would theoretically be able to adopt the Signal patterns for a specific portion of it and make certain pieces of your Angular chaos a little bit nicer to work in and more maintainable. It would be a huge level up specifically for people who are already in Angular that have developers that hate themselves because they're working in Angular every day. This is a huge acknowledgement of how bad things are and that the, the best solution isn't to fix them, it's to skip them. We are entirely working outside of Angular state management when we introduce patterns like this. Angular is not my thing. It's probably not going to be anytime soon. And none of this makes me more likely to adopt Angular, but it does mean that people stuck on Angular have an actual path to decent patterns and a better developer experience. If anything, what this tells me is we were kind of right. And the fact that the software developer Twitter and YouTube worlds have hated on Angular for so long, as painful as it must be for Angular developers and maintainers, it was for a reason. It's because those patterns sucked. And now the solution isn't to fix them, it's to work around them. It seems like our complaints have worked. I'm really excited to see how much better the experience can be for Angular developers, because a lot of them are stuck, and this seems to be acknowledging the pain that they're stuck with. Thank you to the core team for the hard work y'all are doing on Angular, getting it to a better place. I do genuinely appreciate it. I hope y'all understand that the heat isn't because I think y'all are evil, it's because I think these patterns were toxic, and it's really nice to see the change happening. Thank you for the hard work, really appreciate it. See you in the next one. Check out our videos there. Peace, nerds.